I can remember one of my high school students coming up to me and looking at me and saying, is it story time? And, and I can honestly say she said it in a way that you could tell um, she looked forward to. She looked forward to the teaching. She looked forward to the point in our, our midweek gathering where we actually came together and wrestled, wrestled with the realities of Scripture and how that applied to our lives. Um, and that's the, that's the story I hope to tell in this book, is really to challenge communicators to look at a mode of communication that is outside of our three-point prepositional teaching and instead uh, actually creating modern-day parables that illuminate a message. And we can all think of different times in our teaching experience where we have the silly or engaging story that works as an illustration to our message. But teaching through the storytelling actually makes the argument that the story becomes the message. Within our story, we actually have characters and plot and context that's designed to articulate the message we're trying to get across. It's integrated with scripture and with theology and with practical insights. And so the story stands alone. It stands as the message. And so that's what I hope to articulate in this book and to challenge other communicators and invite them into a mode that I think really can expand their influence as, as teachers. And I, and I write this in a spirit of humility, knowing that this is not the only way to communicate. It's not the only way I communicate, but it's one extra tool we can have um, to engage our students and invite them into the story of God.